Aston Lock again for the third time. And uh, there's good old David from Narrowboat Snow Goose guiding us through. He's become the unofficial lock keeper for all YouTubers that pass through here. Great guy. This week's journey sees us finally getting off the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union, travelling down to Hurlston Junction and getting onto the Langhothlin Canal and uh, ending up at Renbury. A journey just of nine miles and ten locks. Cheers Dave. <laughs> well, thanks again to David for seeing us through. Good to see him again. When the wind below that lock across the fields was just uh, unbelievable. Had me going at right angles on the canal. sheltered up here, there's a lot more trees lying in the canal so uh, should be okay from now on. So here we go, playing off Link Canal. We've just come out of there which is the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union Canal. In February I think we came down this way and now Wind permitting, we're going to make our way quite quickly to um, the Langochlan. Langochlan, Lang, Langhol, whatever that is. Langy, the Langy. I keep practicing, the more I work on it, the harder it gets. Um, it's a really windy day. We've had a bit of help going through the one lock so far. We've got four more locks further along. But uh, it's not too bad, as long as you're not in an exposed stretch, is it? And then suddenly the wind takes you. But we're doing okay. New Canal Day! New Canal Day! New well, technically it's not new to me, because I did it when I was about 12, the Clang Othlin Canal. New to me? New to you though, new to this boat. Yes. We're really looking forward to it, it's going to be uh, interesting. Yeah. This um, Clang Othlin Canal apparently is the most popular canal in the country. We were hoping to do this a bit earlier or a bit later in the year but uh, we'll do it in the height of summer anyway. <laughs> height of summer and the, um, the waterways have been open now for all boaters for people to stay on their boat for about three days and it has been unbelievably busy hasn't it? Just one after another boats going past us when we were at Middlewich um, and we've got a feeling everyone's heading the way we're going. <laughs> So, um, but it's all good fun. Not everyone's daft enough to be travelling in this wind though. It's not too bad, we've got control now of the it's boat. Behind um, us now, it was coming straight across the fields and knocked me parallel to the canal, didn't it? It's yes, a... and there were witnesses. Yes, a photo <laughs> was taken. Thanks, David. Well, here we are at the entrance to the Llangothlin Canal. This is a uh, flight of four locks, Hurlston locks, and uh, they were closed all winter for repair. Open now, obviously, and that's Hurlston Reservoir behind that uh, feeds the houses of crew. And uh, we wouldn't normally want to travel in wind this strong, but we just want to get some miles now done and uh, see something different that way under that bridge is to Birmingham and uh, ultimately that way is Chester
Well, it's another miserable grey start to the day. So cold. I can't believe it. Boats have got their fires on and yeah. I think, you know, it is really cold, isn't it? <laughs> and we've discovered that you can walk all the way around the reservoir. So uh, that's what we're going to do before we set out today. Quick yomp around the reservoir. It's only about a mile, isn't it? Yeah, we went up there last night, but went without camera, just went for a stroll. Um, but it is a lovely little walk and some lovely views. So we're going to take you up there for a little, little wander. Yes, right, let's go. <laughs> well, not much of a view today. You can normally see the Cheshire Hills in the background and Mau Cop. Jodrell Bank. Jodrell Bank, which is a, I think it's a, a radio telescope, isn't it? I don't know. Why don't you know? Because that's boy stuff. <laughs> no sexist. <laughs> this is the top of the four locks at Hurlston. One boat just coming in and going down. Uh, this is where we came the other day and you can see these pounds are quite short and if you're trying to pass a boat in here as we were the other day with the wind blustering one way round it's not easy. These people are lucky so the next lock is open already they can just cruise straight in. We've got lock keeper on duty giving us a nice wave. One of our viewers. I think the, I think the people on the boat are viewers as well they've just waved. It's really slippery. <laughs> Let's not do it if you've been framed moment, shall we? Oh, look, they've not been let out yet. Another couple of viewers there, Fran, wishing us well. <laughs> yeah. A good journey on the Klingothlin. I think there's a, a lot of people up here that have been watching us. We've had messages from, haven't we? Yeah. So we try and say hello to everybody. Just give us a hoot if you see us. So, a lovely walk. Yes. Back to the boat now. It's getting a bit wet. Quick cup of coffee. And uh, we're going to move on, aren't we? We've got um, five miles and two, three locks, I'm not sure. Yeah, three. To the next. There's no, there's no um, village here at all where we are. So we're just going to move on to a village where we can get a few bits and pieces. And it looks like there's on the map, there's a uh, farm shop there. So I can stock up with fresh food again after mm. months of not having local produce. Oh, so Months of supermarket plastic yeah. wrapped. Yeah. Waxy apples. We're back on it. We're back on the zero or low plastic. Can't say zero plastic because it's not possible. But we're back on um, good being, shopping, aren't we? Good more food. Mindful good shopping. about how we purchase our food. Yes. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Renbury, here we come. Yes. So we're just coming up to Swanley Marina now. We walked up here yesterday. It's a massive marina, isn't it? You counted how many boats last night? Well, from there. Google Earth, I've counted about 200 boats in there. But that's what I do, I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> boats? Count narrow boats in a marina from Google Earth. <laughs> and 
many calls that work <laughs> anyway we need some gas so we're going to pop in there and the other thing that we really need and desperate for is some sweets <laughs> rich is having a terrible hay fever day today so we're going to go and treat him some sweets the marina was actually built on the site of a wharf along the canal originally and we were wondering about the purpose of this canal and looking up on it it seems that it wasn't um, used for shipping any particular item like flint or coal or flour it was just general supplies up and down into Wales and from England from Wales to England and um, it was much like the, the UPS or DHL of the day just taking goods up and down but this was originally one of the little wharfs along the way, maybe from farms. And this is where we're going. <laughs> we got there, told the guy we wanted a uh, bottle of gas. He took his trolley to go and pick one up, which is about 100 yards away. I went in the front locker gas locker to pull the bottle out only to find the bottle spare bottle was full <laughs> <laughs> the last time that we had a little brain block like this we thought it was full up and it was empty and we were stranded this time i don't know what was wrong with us oh, i don't know we were just convinced <laughs> that the gas bottle was empty so anyway all was not lost because we bought some grease for the stern gland which we needed and uh, not only that we got the all important sweeties didn't we from the I charity sweeties, yes. from the charity box <laughs> um a pound a bag and they're lovely tucked away for later but we got um some pies they're frozen they were frozen they're now in the oven so we're gonna have cheese and onion they look like homemade cheese and onion pies yes. for lunch which won't be too far off i think so we've pulled in uh, there's a higher boat behind coming up that uh, wants to get through the lock quicker than we do I think so we've pulled in and uh, we're going to have our pie yeah come on then well we've stopped for lunch for a little bit we've been chased up by a holiday boater we're going at two miles an hour I think they want to go quicker than that so we've stopped for our pies let's have a look oh they look all right don't they they look lovely don't they look at that yeah oh, let's get stuck in wonderful Particularly fierce by wash on this one. Let's see how we manage. Trying to steer into it a little bit. There we go. Pushes you over. That was fierce. like a pro
Oops. Somebody's come around that bend a bit too quick. So that's Baddeley lock number one. So the last lock of the day. And we've actually done five locks today, not three. But we've not seen a glimpse of the sun. It's been grey and damp all day. So just about a mile to go and then we'll be mooring up. And I think we're going to spend two or three days at the same place. Catch up and uh, do some walking. Dog. <laughs> We've moored up for the day and uh, let's just go for a little wander into the village of Renbury. There's uh, dreaded cows yeah, over there. Yeah, and they're coming our way and I'm not really that happy about cows heading my direction. So, so Whenever we go them. through a field and there's cows and we've got the dogs with us, the cows always seem to want to make a beeline for us, don't they? And you're not comfortable with cows, are you? They're right at that distance, but they're, they're, they're all coming again. They all sit, like one of them starts coming and then they all want to come for you. And I'm not that, not that keen, no. <laughs> <laughs> cows are better off when they're small and a distance. Yeah, far away. <laughs> far away. <laughs> so Renbury promises to be a pretty little village, so let's go and have a look. Unfortunately, we can't come in the church. It's only open for private prayer and not uh, for the likes of us tourists, which is a pity. Oh well, such is the way of the world at the moment. There's nothing we can do about that. Church is made of sandstone and dates back to the 16th century. It's beautiful. Something unique is these um, gravestones with uh, iron plaques on them that I've never seen that before. Apparently, it's unique to this sort of area in the mid 19th century. Yeah, lovely, quiet little village. Gorgeous little old-fashioned village shop. It's not easy to take the camera in at the moment with all the restrictions, so sorry we can't really show you inside, but really friendly people, lovely. So we're heading back to the boat for what we've got for dinner. Um, we've got chilli, which is already cooked actually, but I have bought some fresh veg and bits and pieces in there. Right. Yeah, chilli for tonight. And, um, Thanks for watching. Thank you. Subscribe and give us a thumbs up and uh, push the bell and like and Facebook and all that, and all that stuff. Thank you. <laughs> but, oh look, Fran. Well, the cows have caught us up. There is another way home, you know, and I think I might take it. Just got the long way around. <laughs> <laughs>